Okay, once again, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, this is your host, Santos Cabellian Jr. Guys, today, uh, in this video, I'm going to create our part 16, okay? Now, in part 16, what I'm going to do, since I already completed the script program or the script control logic program for this equipment, now, I want to show you or I want to walk you through with the program, okay? So this is my controller point, okay? Now I will try to <clears throat> filter it so I can display all the programs I've created, okay? So as you can see here, guys, I have created one to disregard this EF constant program. It's not yet finished. But for the time being, I just want to show you this EF healthy program, EF main program, Okay, then EF1 run, then EF2 run status. So this one, two, three, four, these four script programs are the one uh, controlling this equipment. Okay, so let's start with the healthy. So this is a very short script program. Now, as I said, when you are uh, when you are writing your script pro uh, program you need to make it as much as possible short, okay? Now, actually, I have uh, completely changed my control logic program, okay? So, in the previous tutorial, you will see uh, different logic there. But now, this is the final one, okay? As I said in my previous tutorial, that I want to make a more clear, uh, short, and neat control logic, okay? So, I have created one. Now, as I said, uh, if you are a very good, uh, if you have very good logic and you are sharp, then you can create one script program for the entire operation of this equipment. Okay, but uh, since you are a beginner, as I said, this this is intended for beginners. You can write a small small program so that it will be more manageable and easy to. Uh, debug okay because if you will be writing only one big script program big logic then sometimes it will be very hard to uh, debug it if you are a beginner okay so this is my advice to those who are beginner and i think this is maybe i can consider it by myself that this is one of the best approach okay to divide 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 it's like the idea of divide and conquer okay so first for the healthy program, as I said, this is a very short script program just to give the alarm if the system is not healthy, okay? So let me uh, edit this, okay? So let me edit the program. Now, once I edit it, my script editor will be launched, okay? Then I will show you. As I said, it's a very short program, okay? Just bear with me. The script editor is opening the file. Okay. Uh, okay, now it's already open. Let's I will share this screen so that you will see it. Okay, as I said, guys, this is a very small program. So I have only first line, the numeric input. Now again, this numeric input are the points that I will get from the controller, okay? So first, EF1 hand up auto status, it's very important for me. EF2 hand up auto status, EF1 trips and EF2 trips, okay? Because my my system will not be healthy if one of the one of the pan selector switch is in manual or both of it is in manual or off. So my system is not healthy because I don't have any ready exhaust pan to serve the area. Now, let's say if, if EF1 trips, then of course, I don't have a healthy system because since it is a duty standby operation, so I don't have any standby unit. Once my duty fund fails, then I don't have a standby unit. Okay. Now, numeric output. Okay. This is just, uh, I want to uh, change this healthy status from normal to alarm. Okay. Now, the actual program is in line 4, okay? So, line begins. So, meaning, 
and our interpreter or our compiler will execute this program line by line okay so like it is sequential unless there is a jump instruction because jump instruction is like you go to begin okay this is a jump instruction let's say my compiler executed line 1 line 2 line 3 then line 11 then from line 12 I have a jump instruction here, go to begin. So it will look for my line begin. So this is my line begin. So it will go here in line number four. It will not go to the line number one, okay? So there, unless there is a jump instruction here. So line begin, okay, line begin. Then what are the instructions in my begin? Line begin first, number five, if. So I'm checking. So let me walk you through with the program or with the instructions. It's very easy, okay? Uh, as long as when you get the hang of it, then it will be very easy for you. First line is if, EF100 auto status, meaning if it is in auto, or if this identifier is true, okay? Because let me show you this, uh, the variables. So whatever variables you declare, it will be shown in your binding variables, okay? So as you can see here, uh, numeric uh, if EF100 of status is true and EF200 of status is true and not EF1 trip meaning and false, EF1 trip false and EF2 trip false, then EF1 health is on. Else, if this condition is not true, then EF healthy variable will be off or false, okay? Then, uh, and if. I'm using here an uh, if then else control structure, okay? Then after that, it will go to 10, empty line, then line, end of probe. Okay, then I have a line, end of probe here, then what is the instruction there? Go to begin. So I will come here. So my, uh, my compiler or my interpreter will jump back to line number four because i said here go to begin okay now here guys as you can see this program is already this program is already uh enabled okay so let me explain this different tabs here first we have the basic tab so you will see here what is important here is is the compilation valid it should be true because if it is false, then the program is not working or it is not in an operational. Okay. Now, TS is the second. Okay. When it was uh, started, then you already have here the minutes. Okay. Then hours, five. Okay. Then day, zero. Then current line. Okay. Current line is in the beginning. So, meaning. Uh, it's now in the begin, but you can always refresh, okay? Because this display <coughs> is not real time, okay? So you have to refresh so that you will see in which line it is. Okay, again, it is in the begin. It's, it's very short, okay? So current line begin, then line start. Okay, okay, okay. This was just the timestamp. Then error. Well, again, there should be no error. It should be success, okay? If there is error, then again, your program will not do its work okay then what else uh configuration setting now the important here is the flow type we are using the looping as i said it will just be looping okay looping from the beginning then it will go to the end then it will go back to the beginning unless there is a jump instruction like like the go to instruction okay then it will just stay on that line Actually, go to begin. Okay, go to go to begin. Then it will come here. Then, okay, line end of prog. So line of end of prog, it will encounter line. Then again, go to begin. Actually, you can remove this line end of prog. You can just say here, go to begin. So it will go back to the beginning. Okay. Now. Okay, so restart false, auto start true. Okay, just leave it. Now, flow type, this is the important one, looping. Then output, 
whatever variable you declare as numeric output, it will be displayed here. Then you need to bind it. So this one is binding. So you will bind it to the point you have created in your control in your controller. I in, in previous part I have shown you how to create this point. Okay. Now actually this is a value. This is not a point. This is just a software point. Okay. Cancel. Then okay. Then you we have the input. Now the input tab will just show the numeric input here. Okay. Meaning this numeric input will be displayed here. Then once again, you need to bind it. Okay, so bind. So where you will, your program needs to get the information from the field so that it will work or so that it will respond accordingly based on the scenario. Okay, so that one is hand of auto. Okay, hand of auto. Then you have to, okay, this is the hand of auto. Then by default, the value is selected here. Okay. Now, this is a point. The difference between a value, this is a digital value, then this is a digital input or a point. As you can see, the icon for a, for a value is different from the icon of a point or digital input. Okay, Meaning this one is a physical point. It is associated with cable. So meaning from input channel where, input channel where you created this point, there will be a two-core cable that will be pulled from that input channel going to the uh, control panel where you will get the uh, selector switch status, which is in auto or not in auto. Okay. So likewise, you have here the EF200 power status, then the trip and the trip. Okay. So you need to bind by one uh, in the beginning when you write this program, then when you save it. You these points are not yet binded, so you will have to do it manually. Okay, so once you bind it there, then you can try to save again. When you save it, the compiler will try to check if there is some uh, syntax error. If there is no error, then it will save. Then, if there are some points which is not binded like this, then it will raise an alarm or error. Then you need to just bind, then resave it, then it will be recompiled, then it should so save successful. Okay, so like this one, I can always save this. Okay, then it will try to save and compile. If there's no error, then it will display save successful. Guys, when it is compiling and checking your script program, do not click, okay? Just leave the compiler or the interpreter finish its work, okay? So basic, we know already what is the information in the basic, in the inputs, okay? Then the advanced, okay? It will just show the botnet name here and some default value here, then references, okay? I don't have any references, okay? So what is important is the basic to give you an idea, if your control logic program uploaded to the controller is working fine, then the output, is it binded properly? Then the input, is it binded properly? Okay. Now, as you can see here, uh, these variables will react or will get the value uh, real time. Okay. So, as you can see, I will try. I will try to put one of the selector switch in manual. Okay, as you can see here, EF2 had of auto status becomes becomes false. Then my EFLT becomes false because it is not healthy anymore. Because there is one exhaust fan selector switch put in manual position. So I will put it back to auto. Okay, because the, cell, the, the control panel is nearby. Okay, I put it in auto. Then again. True. So as you can see, my program is continuously monitoring all these variables so that it will it will act accordingly. Okay. So this is it. This is a very short script program. Actually, it's just one if then else control structure instruction okay
So again, guys, uh, thank you for watching and I will come back to my server. Okay. So the purpose of that short script program is just to display this. If it will, if it is in healthy or not. Okay, let's simulate again. Since my program is working at the background, as you can see, I have here the alarm. Okay, so my graphics uh, will also respond accordingly. If it, it will get the real-time value, okay, because the graphics points are also bind uh, binded to the uh, object where it will get the real-time value. Okay, so once again, guys, uh, watch for uh, part 17, wherein I will try to walk you through with the next short script program that is controlling this equipment. Again, thank you for watching. And please, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. You can like, share, put your comments. And before I will end this tutorial, I will always wish you a good day. And God bless us all. And bye for now.